Are you amazed by other Warframe players zipping through the levels in mere split seconds, almost defying gravity entirely, and do your attempts at trying the same look more like this all the time? If that's the case, then this Warframe guide here is exactly for you. Because today, we're not only going to talk about jumping in Warframe and how to optimize your movement speed, but we're going to take a deep dive into Warframe's entire movement system. I'm going to tell you what's possible. I'm also going to explain to you how to optimize your movement in combat to be a more effective killing machine. And of course, we're also going to take a look at how to make those super long, super crazy jumps that bring you from one side of the map to the other side in just a split second. However, before we jump into the nitty gritty, we first gotta take a quick look at our control schemes. So there are only some things we need to adjust to make sure that our movement is as flawless as possible. First thing is that we set the game so that we have to hold down our aim key in order to be able to aim. Don't use the toggle aim on off, if that's even a possibility on your platform. Make it that you have to hold down the aim key. One thing you also want to hold is the crouching. Uh, on the PC you have the option to set two different keys, one for toggle crouching on off and one for holding the crouch. If that's the case on your platform, then I would recommend whichever crouch key is your standard that you use in other games, you use that one to hold the crouch, all right? The other key, which you're probably not gonna use that often, you can use that for the toggle crouch on off. But in the movement, we're gonna use the crouch button to initiate slides quite often, and uh, sliding is quite uncomfortable if you have to use the crouch on off function all the time. So use the more comfortable key for crouching for you for the hold to crouch and the not so comfortable crouch key for the toggle to crouch. So with the control scheme out of the way, let's first take a look at ground based movement. We're going to get to the jumping after that, but first I want to talk about what you can actually do while moving around on the ground and how you can optimize your movement in combat mostly. What I want to specifically go into for the ground movement is the difference between rolling and sliding. Usually you would assume that your roll, in whatever direction you use it, would be sort of the dodge roll in combat, and the slide is, you know, nobody really knows what the slide is for, right? In other games it would be like that, but in Warframe, actually the roll is never really used in combat, funnily. The reason for that is that the distance you cover with one roll is insanely long. You can, you know, measure it, do a quick little um, waypoint right here, uh, and then we stand on the waypoint and then we roll and we see that was 10 meters, you know, I just covered 10 meters with one roll. And in most combat situations, 10 meters is so far away you're gonna get yourself out of the action right away and you don't want to do that. So the roll is not really a combat movement. Mostly you're gonna use the roll to gain momentum as you move in a certain direction. For example, if I go and wanna round the corner right here, I use a roll and bam, I have momentum and I can move quickly into that direction that I currently face into. What you wanna use in combat is actually the slide. I used to use the slide a lot in combat because it has a lot of advantages. For example, if I go and I shoot my guns and then I reload them, if I roll, I cancel the reload. My guns are not reloaded now. If I start the reload and I slide, you see the reload animation continues while sliding. I can reload while sliding. I can shoot while sliding. I cannot shoot while rolling. And I can even aim and shoot while I am performing a slide. So if I zoom down range, you see I am moving very slowly. And if I now slide, you can see what, what a difference it really makes. I can go and, you know, slide out of cover, slide into cover, and really be very agile while still putting bullets down range. And that's, that's very cool. That's an advantage the slide gives you that you cannot have in a, a rolling sort of combat. And we can also demonstrate that with some enemies. Let's just go for some Grenier Butchers right here. Butchers are now running at us. They want to close the range towards us and they want to attack us. If we go and try to evade them with the roll, we're so far away, we, I can now shoot once and then I have to roll away again. I, I can shoot a bit and then I have to roll away again. And every time I roll, I have to completely interrupt my actual damage output. That's bad. If I now go and reload, and I actually use the slide, I can keep them at range with the slide and I can fire back easily. You know, they die, 
I don't get hit at all. And that's a great way to put bullets down range while at the same time evading close quarter engagements. And one last thing that I really like for the slide as well is if you're on an elevated surface and you fall from a certain height, you will know that you get a, you know, a heavy landing animation, which sort of stops you at the spot for a second or so. You can actually go and uh, let's climb up here again and use the slide to avoid this heavy fall animation. If I jump down now and I initiate a slide shortly before I land on the ground, the slide interrupts this sort of uh, heavy fall animation. It doesn't even play at all and you can keep moving. This can be a lifesaver in the uh, more difficult environments in the game where if you're stagnant for just one second, enemies, enemies are just gonna kill you right away. And uh, this is where the slide comes in really handy. You just jump, initiate a little slide and you can go and run around like nothing happened. But now that we're done with the ground movement, with the slide versus roll and with how you can optimize your movement in combat, let's actually jump into what you're probably here for and that's the, uh, well, jumping. We also changed our environment here a bit because I love the towers of this uh, version of the simulacrum for de uh, demonstrating jumps. And uh, let's just look at what we can actually do here. Jumping in Warframe is very interesting and you can do a lot of things. Well, first thing you know is probably, and you've done it a couple of times, pretty surely, you can normally jump and you can double tap the jump to in, uh, in order to um, initiate a double jump. But what's way more interesting is two things that you can do in Warframe which you cannot do in most other games. And that is first the so-called bullet jump, which you initiate by being in a crouched or sliding position and then jumping while you're in that position. So let's say I'm crouched, I look in a certain direction, I press jump and then my Warframe will do a bullet jump in that certain direction. If I look straight up, I'm gonna jump straight up and you see I can gain quite some altitude. I can also do that while I'm sliding, you know, slide, bullet jump, slide, bullet jump. That also works and you can perform these actions as often as you want. There is no stamina cost anymore to this. Back in the day when I started playing Warframe, there was still stamina for sprinting and sliding and everything. Now you don't have that anymore. You can do this as much as you want. You can absolutely spam the living hell out of this. And the great thing is you can not only bullet jump, you can also do a second jump after the bullet jump to initiate your double jump to stay in the air much longer. So if you want to have more air time, let's just say we um, are going to go up on this tower right here, go on this tower right here, and let's just say we want to go in this direction as far as we can. Let's mark our point right here, and then I do a bullet jump, and I do a double jump and you can see I landed on this tower here which is 30-ish meters away with just a bullet jump and a double jump. But that is not the end of the line, there is more you can do. One other thing that is very specific for Warframe and I absolutely like that is the so-called aim glide. As I show here, if you are aiming down sides while you're in the air, you're entering this sort of matrix-like mode where gravity is greatly reduced and you can shoot at enemies while you're in the air. This is called the aim glide and it is a great tool. Originally, I think the devs intended you to uh, use it for actually fighting enemies while being mid-air, but that's too clunky anyway and most players don't use the aim glide this way. What players do is they use it mainly to go and, you know, reduce the gravity. I'm gonna switch to my Gorgon right here so we see more of our character model. So the thing is, if you have a lot of forward momentum from a bullet jump or a bullet jump with a second jump uh, after it, you can initiate an aim glide and you keep the forward momentum while having reduced gravity. So I can bullet jump forward and now I start the aim glide and you see I, I don't go slower, I just don't go down. And that is amazing if you want to cover big, really big distances. So that's really what I absolutely love to do with the bullet jump and the aim glide. And if you want to really up your movement speed, if you want to really go ham, really get all of it out of the uh, movement system, then what you can do is you use your slide to initiate your move, you know, as we said in the earlier part of this tutorial. Use your slide, also use your roll, use your slide, use your bullet jump and your aim glide to all, you know, 
all catapult yourself forward way faster than you could do with just standard sprinting. So just to uh, just for a quick demonstration, um, that's what, what I personally do. I'm going to show you the movement chain, let's call it that, which I usually use. And that is running forward, rolling, sliding, bullet jump, double jump, aim glide. And while being in the aim glide, I initiate another roll while holding the aim button, because that's also possible. You can be in an aim glide and still perform a roll, which catapults you forward even faster while you're still having the reduced gravity effect. And if I do it fast, then it sort of looks a bit like this. Roll, slide, bullet jump, double jump, aim glide, roll. And when I'm in the air, I can go and, you know, perform some more slides to get some more momentum forward. So that's all possible. You can do all of this at the same time. I demonstrated one more time. Roll, slide, this, that, bam, and some more slides. And you see, I'm just, I'm just on the opposite side of the map. Even this simulacrum right here is too small to really show which type of distance you're actually able to cover with this. On my German channel, I did the same demonstration where I stood right here and I was like, okay, how about we jump into that point over there, 75 meters away, the um, arsenal of the simulacrum, absolutely no problem. Just do a bullet jump, double jump, aim, glide, roll, and a little slide, and bam, we're here. Oh, and uh, just by the way, in case you found the video helpful so far, I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button so the YouTube algorithm loves the video and it can spread to more people. Thank you for that, and also if you need more Warframe tutorials for beginners and more advanced players, hit the subscribe button and you're not gonna miss a single video of this channel. The next thing I want to talk about is interaction with walls. Because there's quite some things you can do with walls in Warframe that is also much different to what, you know, walls are like in other games usually. So firstly, what you probably already found out is if you jump against a wall, and you hold the jump button while holding down the forward movement key at the same time, you will uh, run up the wall. You can also release the jump button and then press it again to fall down and then run up again. Um, you can run up the wall, also no stamina cost attached. You can continue doing that for ages. What you can also do is if you look to the side while running up the wall, you will start jumping into a certain direction, the direction that you're facing, but mostly it's not gonna be used that often. Another thing that's theoretically possible, but used even fewer times, is the wall latch. This is sort of an aim glide on a wall. If you jump onto a wall and you hold down aim, you will see that your Warframe is sort of tied to the wall for a couple of seconds before he falls down automatically. And uh, this is, yeah, works basically like an aim glide, just that if you're doing it next to a wall, you don't have any gravity at all. You know, the normal aim glide, you have a bit of gravity, you go down a bit, but if you're doing it next to a wall, you don't have any gravity. And you can, you know, sit up here and shoot down at enemies that are not suspecting you. Uh, it can be kind of nice, and I know there are uh, one or two Riven challenges where you have to kill a certain amount of enemies while being latched onto a wall or something, but in reality, I'm just gonna want to be honest right here. Um, you're not gonna use this like ever. Like I cannot think of a practical situation where you actually want to do this. I just wanted to mention it for completion's sake. So you could do this. I strongly think you're not ever gonna use it, but now you know. You know, you know now. And the last thing that I want to talk about today is mods. Of course, you cannot do a Warframe video without talking about mods. And also for movement, there are some mods that influence your movement. Uh, I just wanted to mention them for completion's sake. Actually, in practice, I would say it's very uncommon to use any of them to amplify your movement, but you could if you actually want it. For example, there are some mods that increase your movement speed, like the base speed at which you move when you run around. Uh, that can be useful. Also, there are mods that increase your air time while being an aim glide, you know, the aim glide duration at which point um, you're gonna start falling down at full gravity again is gonna be extended so you can, you know, hover for longer times. There are also sort of parkour mods which uh, increase the momentum of rolls and aim glides and dodges and whatever. But these mods, while they're kind of nice to fool around a bit, no actual serious or endgame viable build actively uses them to amplify the movement. So these are nice to toy around with, but in practice, I found it very rare that anyone actually uses them. So this is also one of the, uh, I mentioned it for completion's sake topics, but I wouldn't actually recommend using 
using them. And now you know all the nitty gritty tricks and details that you can use to amplify your movement. If you have any other uh, points of view or any other ideas or tips that you want to share with the community, make sure to pop it in the comments down below. Also, if I said anything wrong in this video, make sure to correct me. Leave a sub if you like the channel and we see each other next time. Until then, have a great day and of course, good loot.